What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise North American community contributor for World of Warships Blitz. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Black Azumo. Wait, Black Azumo? Yeah, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Imperial Japanese Navy Black Azumo Premium. And we're going to be talking about that in this video right after this quick a little intro. What's up, everybody? If you're new to the stream or been new to this uh, channel here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can catch future videos like this one, as well as our, catch our live streams on Facebook as we do them quite often. Oh, but yes, typically on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, my other half does stream as well. But I stream personally on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday between 5 and 9 p.m. West Coast time. So today's video, like I said in the beginning, is that we are going to be talking to Black the Black Azumo. And it's a premium, of course. All black ships are premium, but it's a black ship, right? But in this particular version of it, and compared to its original form factor, the Azumo, which is a Tier 9 Imperial Japanese Navy battleship that's a tech tree ship, which will come with, you know, this precise aiming 2 and auto secondary guns, the black Azumo is actually going to be coming with Rapid Reload 1, and that's going to come with two charges with it, and they're going to be reducing the ship's, or the uh, skill down from Rapid, or Precise Aiming one, 2 down to 1 on it. So you're going to pick up Rapid Reload 1 on it. It's an interesting version of it um, to the Azumo. So they didn't lose the characteristics of Having precise aiming on it, they just reduced the skill down from 2 to 1 on it, which is kind of fun. I did get to play it a little bit before I made this video. It handles like an Azumo. It'll play like an Azumo. The third turret is always going to be that issue. Uh, but overall, it's still a fun boat. It really is. Um, just because the rap reload one on there makes it just a little bit more playable other than like the irregular tier version of it. The tier 9 Azumo. Um, we're going to go into the stats of it. Here in this version of it, you know what we'll do is ship comparison. And we'll get rid of the Belmont. And we'll just do the Azumo. Uh, so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison on it. And we're going to compare the two of them. So let's look at the statistics. They're both exactly the same boat as far as dimensions. Hip ship points does vary a little bit. The ship hit points for the Black Azumo is going to have just a thousand more health on it, just about eight, nine hundred more. Citadel protection is going to be the same. Fire and flooding resistance is still going to be the same. Torpedo damage reduction is going to be the same. Nothing really changed on that. Still 410 millimeter guns. Um, the main battery armor piercing damage is going to do 23 more damage. Okay. Um, the Azumo, though, does have auto secondary guns, which is the Black Azumo is supposed to have as well. So I don't know why they don't have the same stats on it, but it's probably going to be the same stats. They probably changed it up a little bit, but I'll probably have to bring this up uh, with Wargaming as a bug report, maybe. I don't know. But other than that, it looks pretty darn amount much about the same the surface detection is the same everything is pretty much about the same about the boat the only thing real big difference in it is of course is the rapid reload and the production and precise aiming the historical camouflage um is going to increase your ship hit points by four percent main battery firing range is going to be increased by four percent main battery Delt dispersion is going to be reduced by 4%. Torpedo damage reduction is going to be increased by 6%. And XP and silver bonus is going to be increased by 50%. So that's not too bad for the Azumo. For the Black Azumo, it's still pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much about the same. 
no real big uh, difference on the camouflages either other than it looks different. Black Azumo is way darker. Still a lot of fun. Um, I, I don't know if I would go out of my way to get it personally, but I think I would try to get it if it was like some type of an event that's relatively okay to get. Um, if it's a straight purchase, I might be tempted by it. And the only thing that, like I said, that really excites me about this mode overall, and this is my first impression of it, I literally just, pull, literally just pulled it out of the mailbox and then played it a couple matches and recording the video. It's just the way it is. It's how I roll. So, I mean, I would probably want to get it just for the simple fact that I like black ships and I want to increase my collection of black ships just because I like black ships. Is it going to be a little bit better than the regular Zomo? Yeah, just because it has rapid reload on there and precise aiming. Okay, yeah, it's precise aiming one, but still, I'm not mad. That's always a good combination of my boat. Rapid reload and precise aiming. Let's go. Roma all day. But here in this factor, you know, HE, <laughs> yeah, I would definitely want to use high explosive when I can with a 14% chance of setting a fire. When I could. On long distance shots and everything like that, good chance of setting a fire at 14%, you know. But I'm not mad in life. I did an interesting setup as far as the equipment. I did go with main battery modification number three to reduce the maximum main battery shell dispersion by 7%, which was good. And I did deck protection modification number one, which reduces the risk of a fire by 20% and risk of superstructure fire by 20%. And then I also did concealment system modification number one, which reduces my surface detection by 10%, down by 1.2 kilometers. I think I may switch that over to something else because its surface detection right now is at 11.18 kilometers. That isn't a huge save. If it was closer to, say, like, 8 kilometers or 7 kilometers, or if I could get it to probably, like, 9.5 kilometers, and it had a 14.24 kilometer range, yeah, that'd be beneficial. But only having that 3 kilometer buffer isn't all that grandiose, in my opinion. Well, it's 14.83, so it's almost like 3 or 4 kilometer buffer after the shot. So... Yeah, that could be fun. 20, almost... A, Eh, 21, 20 and a half second reload time, which is still not too bad, but with rapid reload one, that's not fine. I'm sure if you slap a commander on there, got all the right ones in place like battlefield support, or not that, excuse me, uh, <laughs> right there, fire supremacy locked in, probably be good all day, along with marksman and master reloader. And keep everything else the same. But yeah, that would be pretty much the route I would go. I'll probably reset the guy's skills here in a little bit. But yeah, getting those skills on top of that would be probably pretty good. Other than that, that's what I did with it. This is what I did. I mean, as far as supplies, you can do as you want. I did refine diesel, uh, preventative maintenance pack, and I also did improve crew rations. Why I picked those my go-to's I think everybody uses that unless they're trying to do an AA build or a some type of stealthy build you know I'm sure I probably could use high grade coal to probably get another 3% off the top of that which it wouldn't be so bad but overall I think it's a good boat mm, you know if I like I said, the only probably reason if I would get it is just because it's a black ship and I like collecting black ships. That would be my only reason to do it. Other than the original Azumo, precise aiming, and we all know how Azumo plays. The only real difference is that, you know, it's got rapid reload on it. And 
Precise aiming one. Okay. Not the worst combination of things, but I, I, I say go for it. You know, what else could hurt? If you got it to flaunt it, cool. Is it going to hurt you not having it? No. Because the Azumo itself is a pretty darn good boat if played correctly. Like I said, the only thing that upsets me about this design, me personally, if is that third turret but then again you got the two main turrets and i think that third turret's more of a kind of a ha 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 i can get almost broadside <laughs> before i shoot you and whip back over but that long bow on it still the zoom up plate correctly is also a very troublesome boat in itself unlike you know we know about like musashi and then like i don't know that was that other boat uh oh yeah yamato can be also very troublesome themselves at distance little sniper boats so don't let this boat <laughs> if you got an opportunity to get it out of an event and it's free and you can get through it pretty quickly yeah then i'd go for it you know if it's going to be a purchase purchase something you could purchase you know if it isn't like 200 dollars, if it's like 50 60 bucks I'd pay 50, 60, almost 70 bucks for it. I would just if it came with the historical camouflage as well. You know, that's where I'd probably be at. That would be me personally. I don't know what you guys would pay for a tier nine boat. But that's where I would probably be at. I mean, that's kind of still a lot of money. Me, me personally, I, you know, I make money, but, you know, I'm not made of it. People have got it like that. 70 bucks with the historical camouflage in a bundle and I got some gold out of it too. Ah, it wouldn't be too bad. You know, and a commander and, you know, free ship slot, you know. I'm not going to be mad. That'd be a one hell of a bundle, right? <laughs> but uh, I don't know how it'll come out, but it'll be interesting to uh, see how it does come out. So let's come check out our live stream this Thursday night as we play the heck out of it. Thursday night, 5 p.m. West Coast time on Facebook, fb.gg forward slash the Rogue in Disguise Gaming. And oh, but yes, some ships will be sunk. More likely, I'll be sunk, but still, it'll be fun and interesting to play. So until the next time, folks, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and catch me on my live stream. Until then, bye-bye.